The movie begins with the warmth of a lovely summer day in Croatia, as Beth steps onto the picturesque streets of the country. She's here to spend a weekend with her best friend, Kate. Zane, the friendly taxi driver, adds a touch of local charm to Beth's arrival, engaging in cheerful conversation during the ride. Grateful for the pleasant journey, Beth accepts Zane's card as he drops her off at the apartment, she'll be calling home for the weekend. Beth soon discovers that it's Kate who has orchestrated this entire trip, generously covering all expenses with her ex Jay's credit card. In a gesture of gratitude, Beth presents Kate with a black necklace, adorned with a few loosely hanging beads. As the evening unfolds, Beth takes a moment to connect with her husband Rob, and their child Aster via video chat. Aster, also Kate's granddaughter, becomes a part of their virtual prelude to the night out. Their exit from the apartment is met by the landlord Sebastian, ensuring their settling-in process is smooth. The night takes an interesting turn as they reach the restaurant, where Kate purposefully orders the most expensive dishes, intending to put a dent in Jay's finances. This prompts Beth to reflect on her friendship with Kate, feeling a pang of guilt for not being there during Kate's divorce. However, Kate, understanding the complexities of Beth's life, inquires about Beth's marriage. Beth grapples with the reality that her marriage is going through a rough patch, despite her initial desire to paint a rosy picture for Kate. She's uncertain about the future but deems Kate's suggestion of a divorce too extreme. The evening takes an unexpected twist when the credit card is declined, leading to a heated conversation between Kate and Jay over the phone. The bill proves too steep for Beth's modest wallet, yet Kate graciously shoulders the expenses, cementing the bonds of their enduring friendship. Afterward, the group heads to a club, with Beth enlisting Zane as their driver. Upon arrival, Kate takes a moment for a makeup touch-up, allowing Beth to engage in a conversation with Zane about their experiences as foreigners, Zane, an immigrant from Syria, and Beth, an American residing in London. Once Kate is ready, she generously covers the expenses again, though Beth opts for water. Inside the club, two men catch their attention, prompting Kate to encourage Beth to join them, emphasizing the need for Beth to break free from her routine without Rob's knowledge. As they socialize and enjoy drinks with the guys, Beth gradually succumbs to dizziness. The next thing she knows, she wakes up at the apartment with no recollection of the previous night. Nauseous and disoriented, Beth discovers evidence of a lively evening, half-empty wine bottles, used glasses, discarded clothing, unwrapped protection, and a still-operating jacuzzi. A broken glass and some drops of blood under a towel add an unsettling layer to the scene. Frantically trying to contact Kate yields no results, and Beth's concerns deepen. Desperate, she calls Rob, sharing her worries. Rob suggests that Kate might be out on her own and asks if there was an argument between them. Despite Kate's assurance that there wasn't, her memories of the night remain hazy. Seeking answers, Beth turns to Sebastian, only to find he hasn't seen Kate either. Despite Sebastian's reminder that parties aren't allowed, he informs Beth of an additional charge due to the presence of two men the previous night. Troubled by this revelation, Beth considers involving the police, but Officer Pavic dismisses her concerns, displaying a judgmental attitude towards girls who indulge in partying and excessive drinking. Even when Kovac, his superior, attempts to intervene, Pavic insists on handling the matter independently, citing a 24-hour waiting period for filing a report. Determined to seek answers, Beth takes matters into her own hands and contacts Zane, who helps her recall the club they visited. At the club, the bartender initially feigns forgetfulness, but Zane's assertive words in Croatian compel him to divulge the truth. The two men the girls befriended were frequenting escorts targeting tourists. Beth speculates that Kate may have hired them, influenced by Kate's persistent belief that Beth needed to break free from her routine. In the evening, Beth reaches out to Rob again, expressing her concerns about Kate's unexplained absence. Rob, seemingly unfazed, dismisses Kate's actions as typical behavior, advising Beth not to worry. However, Beth remains convinced that something is amiss, as Kate hasn't responded to any messages. Determined to unravel the mystery, Beth informs her husband of her decision to cancel her planned flight home until Kate reappears. The next morning, armed with the names provided by the bartender, Beth delves into social media to locate the escorts. Seeking assistance from Zane, she initiates a plan to arrange a meeting with them, determined to uncover the secrets of that fateful night. While biding time at a cafe for the escorts, Beth opens up about her connections with Kate and Rob. Zane, in return, shares the painful story of losing his wife to the ravages of war. When the escorts finally appear, they make a swift exit at the sight of Beth's face. Undeterred, Zane gives chase, successfully catching one and compelling a confession. The escorts admit to their brief stay in the apartment, leaving at 3 a.m., after pilfering Kate's bag during a moment of distraction. 
They vehemently deny tampering with the girls' drinks, asserting their professionalism as paid individuals who do not need such tactics. The stolen bag was pawned, and the man provided the location of the shop. Beth retrieves the bag and phone but remains suspicious about potential drugging, as she recalls only consuming water and doesn't typically get excessively intoxicated. Despite Zane's skepticism, Beth revisits the police after a day, assuring him that she won't disclose his name to protect his visa. This time, Kovach takes her report seriously, reprimanding Pavic for negligence and dismissing him when he continues to cast judgment on Beth's account. Though Beth omits details about the phone, she hands over the bag and reveals the escort's identities to Kovach. Concerned about the possibility of assault, Kovach, after obtaining Beth's statement, arranges for her to undergo tests at the hospital in the pursuit of uncovering the full truth. Following the tumultuous events, Beth reaches out to Jay, who, much like Rob, dismisses Kate's situation as mere drama. Jay denies any communication with Kate, citing legal constraints through their respective lawyers and claiming ignorance about the credit card issue. Returning to the apartment, Beth finds Sebastian packing their belongings due to the expiration of the checkout time. Unwilling to leave the country, Beth accepts Sebastian's offer of a budget-friendly room downstairs. After settling in, Beth attempts to use Kate's phone, but it proves inaccessible without a face ID. Sebastian extends a dinner invitation, but Beth declines, opting to contact Zane instead. Just as they prepare to leave for a restaurant, Rob surprises Beth by flying in for a brief visit, leaving Aster with a babysitter. Zane gracefully withdraws, and a tense encounter unfolds as a jealous Rob criticizes Beth for trusting a random taxi driver. Overcome with emotion, Beth breaks down, prompting Rob to apologize and comfort her as she recounts the events. Their conversation takes an abrupt turn when the police deliver devastating news. Kate has been found dead. Beth accompanies Rob to identify the body, learning that Kate drowned, with an autopsy pending to determine if it was an accident or murder. The following morning, Rob grapples with guilt for not being kinder to Kate, finding her irritating. Contemplating whether to extend his stay, Beth encourages him to return to London to care for their daughter while she addresses the unfolding tragedy. Later, Officer Pavic picks up Beth and delivers the grim news that Kate was murdered. The condition of Kate's body raises uncertainty about potential assault due to her interactions with multiple men before her death. Beth requests a final moment with Kate, seizing the opportunity to use her friend's deceased face to unlock the phone. Pretending to need the bathroom, Beth delves into Kate's messages and discovers a shocking revelation. An affair between Kate and her husband Rob. Pavic escorts Beth to the police station, where Kovach discloses the investigation results. Traces of illegal substances are found in both Beth's and Kate's blood. Escorts are questioned, but their alibis hold up, supported by a taxi driver's account of picking them up at Beth's apartment. Witnesses claim to have seen Beth and Kate arguing at the club, a claim Beth vehemently denies, albeit with some uncertainty. As suspicion begins to swirl around Beth, Pavic takes her passport, leaving Sebastian his card. Beth confides in Jay, who reveals knowledge of the affair but keeps silent due to Beth's pregnancy. The affair started recently, and Jay hints at a prior drunken encounter between Rob and Kate before Rob's relationship with Beth. Attempting to distract herself, Beth shares a theory with Zane over dinner. Kate might have drugged her to instigate an affair, hoping Rob would leave Beth. A tense call with Rob ensues, revealing Beth's awareness of the affair, escalating into a heated argument about the police considering her a murder suspect. The next day, Beth finds herself arrested for Kate's murder. The police present photos of her dinner with Zane, linking him to a human trafficking gang. Beth, now in a dire situation, seeks legal counsel. Zane clarifies his connection to a smuggling ring that aided refugees, emphasizing he doesn't work with them. Upon Zane's departure, Beth realizes the police's knowledge of the affair may have come from Pavic sharing information with Sebastian, leading to a web of deceit that threatens her freedom. Beth's discovery of a hidden camera in the mirror leads her on a perilous journey to uncover the truth. Determined to expose the secrets surrounding Kate's murder, Beth cunningly steals Sebastian's keys after distracting him with small talk. Infiltrating his private studio, she unveils a network of hidden cameras throughout the building, invading people's privacy even in intimate spaces. Beth retrieves the recording of the night of the murder, unveiling a shocking sequence of events. She passed out in the bar, the escorts carried her to bed, then left to spend time with Kate. Seizing an opportunity when Beth was distracted, they stole her bag and hastily exited the building. Kate, realizing the theft, left and eventually returned in a different car with a peculiar sticker on the front. 
As Sebastian returns in search of his keys, a confrontation ensues. Beth, distrustful of his motives, inadvertently causes Sebastian to hit his head during a struggle. Taking advantage of the situation, Beth escapes with his keys and rendezvous with Zane. Together, they investigate the cab with the license plate Beth noted leading them to a revelation about Kate's actions. At the taxi company, they learned Kate had followed the escorts and visited the police station. Beth questions the police's lack of response to her reports, only to discover that Pavic, a vice officer with a dark history, is behind the conspiracy. Faced with a manhunt, Beth and Zane attempt to escape, but Zane sacrifices himself to allow Beth to contact her lawyer. Pavic, relentless in pursuit, corners Beth atop a building. Accusing him of Kate's murder, Beth confronts Pavic about his advances being spurned by Kate. In a heated exchange, Beth inadvertently pushes Pavic off the roof, leading to his demise. Later at the police station, Kovach apologizes for the wrongful accusations, revealing Pavic's sinister past as a corrupt officer who exploited his position for criminal activities. The recovered footage ultimately exposes Pavic's role in Kate's murder, shedding light on the disturbing truth behind the conspiracy. Unraveling the web of deception, Beth learns that Pavic, unable to be fired, had been transferred to the tourist division. Investigations into the escort's apartments expose their use of illegal substances to incapacitate and rob women. Beth is declared innocent, and upon leaving the building, she expresses her gratitude to Zane, embracing him for his invaluable assistance. Back in London, Beth maintains contact with Zane through text messages, and she severs ties with Rob. Co-parenting their daughter, Beth and Rob take turns caring for Aster. During a drop-off at Rob's place, he attempts to reconcile, but Beth declines. In need of a spare car key, Rob suggests checking his jacket, leading to a shocking discovery, a bead from the necklace she had given Kate. Realizing the implications, Beth feigns ignorance and excuses herself to call Kovach. However, when Rob checks on her, she discreetly puts away her phone. Beth comforts Rob with the bead, coaxing him into confessing that he had flown to Croatia on the night of Kate's death. Rob claims Kate's demise was an accident, citing her accidental fall into the water. He alleges that Kate had confessed her love, though Beth discovers the truth. Rob and Kate's relationship had been a regrettable rebound fling, and Rob had been stalking her ever since. When Kate decided to confess the truth to Beth, Rob's anger escalated into violence, leading to her tragic demise. Rob pleads with Beth to keep silent, arguing that the case is closed. Unbeknownst to him, Beth has maintained contact with Kovach, who hears the entire confession. Rob, desperate to silence Beth, attempts to grab her phone, but Beth retaliates, seizing Aster and making a daring escape as the police arrive to apprehend Rob. Here, the film reaches its conclusion, 